Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Almighty God, the most compassionate and the most merciful, uh, I welcome you all, my lovely, lovely, lovely friends from all over the world. Uh, for today, we have got a very simple question for this week. Uh, we have got uh, this integration. Now, what um, wh one answer is the correct. You can choose that one and you can find it. By the way, whenever you are facing with whatever question is, whether this one is an integration, whether this one is a derivative, whether this one is a limit, whether this one is a logarithm, whether this one is a trigonometric, trigonometric function, whatever is, you have to first simplify. In integration, you have to simplify the question like what? It means you should have not this much part. You, 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 you should have a very simple part and with one uh, trigonometric um, ratio, that one would be the best one. I mean, in here, in here, you can have the factor of the denominator. Uh, now, how can we find the factor? You can write sine square x cosine square x divided by, now in denominator, in this two, you have a common factor of the sine square x. The remaining part is sine cube x plus cosine cube x. Now, in here also, you have got a common factor. Um, that one is cosine to the power 2x. The remaining part is sine cube x plus cosine cube x. Now, all the denominator is raised to the power 2. It means you have to put a bracket and you have to raise that one to the power 2 of dx. Now, you have got another common factor with um, which one is sine to the power 3x cosine to the power 3x. So you can have this factor as a common sine to the power x plus cosine to the power 3x the remaining part, it's sine uh, square x plus cosine square x. All of this one is raised to the power 2 dx. And in denominator, we have sine to the power 2x, cosine to the power 2x. This one is 1. 1 times this one, it's sine to the power 3 plus cosine to the power 3. is raised to the power 2. So, you have sine to the power 2x times cosine to the power 2x divided by sine to the power 3x plus cosine to the power 3x is raised to the power 2 dx. Now, what should I do? Do not simplify this one or do not raise this one to the power 2. So, why? Because you will find three parts in which sine is raised to the power 6 but in here we have sine to the power 2. What should I do? Uh, you have to um, take a factor for this one. How can um, we find the factor? Uh, I mean um, integration sine to the power 2x times cosine to the power 2x in here, you can have the factor, common factor of sine to the power 3 with the cosine to the power 3, cosine to the power 3. Why this one? Now, wait a moment. Sine to the power 3 divided by this one. It's tangent cube x plus cosine to the power 3, cosine to the power 3, it's 1. All of them, all of them is raised to the power 2. D x. Now you can have this two for cosine cube and also for 1 plus tangent cube. So integration of sine to the power 2x cosine to the power 2x divided by this one is cosine to the power 6 and 1 plus tangent cube x raised to the power 2 dx. And here you can cancel two of them with two of this one. So you will have integration sine to the power 2x divided this remains cosine to the power 4. And instead of that, we can write cosine to the power 2, cosine to the power 2, 1 plus tangent cube x dx. Now this one sine to the power 2 with cosine to the power 2, it is tangent. 
I mean integration it's tangent tangent to the power 2 x uh, this cosine to the power 2 put this one in nominator so it become secant square x 1 divided by cosine 1 divided by cosine is secant square hmm? because it has got the power of 2 so we have 1 plus tangent cube raised to the power 2 in here you can write 1 plus tangent cube x raised to the power 2 dx now substitute the denominator why denominator because the derivative of the denominator is in nominator what's the derivative of this one wait a moment instead of 1 plus tangent cube x you can write u take the derivative it's 3 tangent square x derivative of the tangent it's secant, secant square x dx and this one is du we have tangent square secant square and nominator so this derivative is the correct uh, simplify this one for dx it's 1 divided by 3 tangent square x secant square x du so you can write integration tangent square x secant square x divided by instead of 1 plus tangent cube x you can write u to the power 2 hmm? am i right or not and instead of dx you can write 1 divided by 3 tangent square x secant square x du and you can cancel this one so we have 1 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 put it before the integration so we have du divided by u square also we can have 1 divided by 3 integration u to the power minus 2 du now you can simplify hmm? how can you do we can write 1 divided by uh, 3 what's the integration u to the power n du it is u minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus c so we have 1 divided by 3 u minus 2 plus 1 it's minus 1 and minus 2 plus 1 it's minus 1 plus c hmm? uh, this positive with this negative it's negative 1 divided by 3 and you can put this one to the denominator it is u plus c and instead of u you have minus 1 divided by 3 and instead of u and instead of u you have this one 1 plus tangent cube x plus c this is the correct answer which number is right i think number one by the way it was our this week question. Wait for another week. Allah Hafiz.